Hi there, Simon from simonwoods.com. What do you do when you've got eight white wines and there's not all that much of a theme between them? You don't try and do them all in one video, so split, split them over two. This first one is, I've got two Spaniards and two Southern Frenchies. Let's kick off in Catalonia with uh, Torres, Vina Sol. And well-known wine made from Pariada, which is one of the main Carva grapes, uh, has been a stalwart of Spain's white wine firmament for probably now and 40 years now. This is 2010. And it's a it smells like a clean, zippy, fresh, juicy, um, really nice, tangy seafood wine. Just what you want. I was in Lanzarote last summer, and uh, if you went in a restaurant, if you're in a restaurant anywhere in Europe, actually, and you're looking at... Um, uh, things that uh, a wine list that you don't recognize much but you see something like this it's usually a pretty good banker smells smells like it's going to be exactly what i expect a bit of uh, almost like quasi sauvignon like bit of that zippy citrus and apple bring me a plate, plate of grilled prawns i will be very happy with that although it's a sh it's a shocking day out there i've never said something else um but not the most complex wine, but clean, fresh, refreshing. It's got this zippy acidity to uh, clean your mouth up and uh, leave you thinking, where is my next prawn? Don't have a prawn next, but I have a uh, southern French white wine from uh, Jean-Claude Mas. And it's Mas de Mas, not Mas de Mas Gassac, Mas de, Mas de Mas. Pinot Blanc from the Zucco vineyard. Um, Danny Zucco, wasn't he in Greece? Or John Travolta character? Van de France, Pinot Blanc. Not sure why it's uh, Van de France. Maybe there's, maybe there's some southern French stuff in. Maybe there's some uh, uh, stuff from elsewhere. The heart of the Languedoc. So he's, he's just, I think he just looks like he's just decided to put. Um, in the cool uh, land of Etang de Marseillette at the foothills of the Montagne Noire. Montagne Noire, Corbier, around there somewhere. Anyway, let's give it a whirl. Pinot Blanc's not known for its uh, huge amount of aroma, so I stick my nose in here and there's like a earthy, slightly peachy, almost clay-like character, much as you get when they have the grape in Alsace. Nice wine, uh, a bit of toffee, uh, quite, quite a rich um, core of uh, this peachy, almost pineapple chunk character, uh, not too, uh, not over the top in those, uh, and then there's this freshness that keeps it, uh, keeps it from going all wobbly. Um, not amazingly concentrated, uh, sorry, not amazingly aromatic, but um, honest, juicy, tender wine. I like it. Maybe the Vigna Sol's the one for the prawns at the beachside. That's something for something a bit sturdier, roast chicken or something like that. Back in Spain now, Menade Vedejo um, from 2010 from Rueda. Uh, comes complete with. Uh, Wonderful green cork, which is usually pretty difficult to go. Oh, got that back in pretty easily. Let's give it a whirl. And this smells more interesting. It's got um, it's got some of that zip that the Vigna Sol had, but there's uh, more complex herby characters going in, on in there. A nice citrus, also uh, this yeah this herb, a bit of fennel, um, maybe a little bit of uh, grapefruit on the citrus side, green apple. Uh, smells like it's going to be charming but tangy and refreshing at the same time. Really nice combination of richness and freshness there. It's got this quite rich, rounded core, almost on that cashew nut edge, but then this uh, lovely citrus, zesty acidity to uh, clean the mouth, clean your mouth up, leave you wanting more. It leaves it leaves you it leaves me feeling hungry. It leaves me thinking I want some food. I want something uh, um, tasty and probably slightly oily and garlicky. Mmm. Gonna have another drink of that. Sorry, a taste. It's like a peachier, more exotic style of Sauvignon Blanc. Very tasty. I like that a lot. Let's see whether I like the last one a lot. Uh, L'Ancien Comte de Grenache Blanc, a Levion Fou de Chêne, aged in an oak barrel, from uh, another mover and shaker, the Montoche Co-op. Uh, let's give it a whirl. Grenache Blanc is, um, yes, there's Grenache. Uh, well, normally when people say Grenache, they mean Grenache, the uh, Grenache de Noir, the one that makes Chateau Neuf du Pape and Priorat and stuff like that. But there's also Grenache Bl uh, Gris and a Grenache Blanc, and they, 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 they make quite stolid, earthy, rich, um, yeah, quite uh, portly wines, Henry VIII type of character, and um, uh, they, they, some of them can be terrific, and some of them can be sometimes on that just bit too heavy side and need something uh, slightly lighter and zippier to uh, to pet them up. Uh, in this area, they use things like Bourboulanc, but this is all Grenache Blanc, I think. Does it say if it's got anything else in here? Uh, no, it doesn't. 
Yeah, and I stick my nose in this heavy waxy character. Uh, waxy honey, honeycomb. Uh, fruit, if it's there, it's subdued. And it's almost like on that, uh, uh, it's like crystallised kumquat. Where on earth did crystallised kumquat come from? But if you've ever had those, um, uh, yeah, yeah, crystallised kumquats. Um, things that have been ever so slightly jammified, to you, to coin a phrase. Um, peaches, uh, it's like the oily pineapple. Uh, just, yeah, cooked pineapple rather than uh, tinned pineapple. Yeah, that's a rich, weighty, waxy wine. Um, calls out for some food. Um, personally, I'd almost like it with a little bit more zip in there, uh, but the flavour, the finish that you're left with is, um, it's got almost like a, a, how would I describe it? Slightly metallic uh, mineral character coming through. Um, I would, yeah, I'm, I'm going to try this. I'm going to try putting an ever so slight dab of Vini Sol in there just to give it a bit of freshness. Um, you can do this at home. There's no law that stops you blending your own wines. Actually, works quite nicely. Just a little zip of the a bit of there, giving a little bit more zip and freshness. So I like it as a wine, uh, but um, hasn't got the zip and uh, and life and a joie de vivre of the uh, of the Vodeka, which was probably my favourite here. Probably my second favourite. Still a pretty good wine. Hey. See you for the next instalment of Eight Wines uh, in whenever I get round to putting the next video up. See you soon.